So I'm going to go over with you how to give insulin by the pen. How many of you have taught a patient how to use a pen? How many of you have never seen a pen? Okay. So I'm going to show you um, how, how we um, inject with a pen. The pens have 300 units of insulin in them. You should store them. The one you're using can be stored at room temperature. The extra supply has to get kept in the refrigerator. And what you're going to want to do is prime the pen. If it's MPH or one of the premixes, you're going to mix it first 10 times back and forth until it's mixed. You want to check it to make sure that it's mixed. Then you would wipe the top here with an insulin pad or with insulin in a cotton ball. Most people use the insulin pads. I mean the alcohol pads, sorry. You wipe it with alcohol. You screw the pen needle on till it's tight. Once the pen needle is on, you're going to prime it. The reason why it's important to prime it is because we want to make sure that we get out the air. You dial two units, tap it, and you squirt it up in the air, and you want to make sure that you see a stream of insulin come out. If you don't see a stream of insulin come out, you want to do it again. You dial two, tap it, squirt it up in the air. Then, you're, and, and that's every time. You use the pen. They should be doing that. And some of my senior citizens patients will say to me, yeah, but I'm wasting insulin. I tell them they give you extra to, to prime it. And if we need to write for more because you're priming it properly, we will. We'll give you more. Then they're going to dial up their dose. So say that they're on 10 units. They're going to dial to 10. Okay. Then they're going to wipe their abdomen or their thigh with the alcohol wipe. Someone had asked me in the last group, with these newer, smaller needles, is it okay it, with obese or overweight people? Is it still getting in? And it is. They've done studies, and the studies have shown that you can use the nano needle, which is the smallest needle, on an obese or overweight patient, and it still gets in. If you feel that it's not getting in, then you can just ask the prescriber to get a, a longer needle. And so then once they um, get it ready, then they're going to wipe with the alcohol, pinch up their inch, okay, but sometimes even with these newer needles, they don't have to really pinch, but pinch up their inch, go straight in like a dart, push it in, and hold it in for the count of five to ten. Keep it pressed so that they don't lose any, and then take it out. And then they're going to want to make sure that, that number goes from 10 all the way back to zero when they're pressing it in, and it should do that.